What was the situation with uh, AJ Turner missing? He had a high ankle, and uh, and um, I, that's all I know at this point. He tried to come back at halftime and uh, went out in the third quarter and just didn't feel like he could push off of it. Our medical staff didn't clear it. And uh, any other injuries? Uh, that's it, uh, that's to my knowledge. Well, how did you think Jake played, and did you consider replacing him with Skardek yet? No, no, absolutely not. Jake's our quarterback. Um, you know, again, you got to protect a little bit better. Obviously, he'd like to probably have some throws back here and there, but uh, I think you know, overall, you've got to you got to do some things to, uh, you know, whether it's protection and decision making. There was a combination of things. We had a hard time blocking at the end of the day, and, and uh, I'm sure he would like to have had some throws back, especially especially the interception for a touchdown. So. We'll go back and, and uh, make make corrections and move forward. Coach, it seems like about half of Jake's interceptions this year have been miscommunications. How do you cut down on that, and why do you think that's happening so much? Um, well, I disagree with that. First of all, uh, let's go back to the Florida game. I mean, he threw a ball in the end zone to a wheel route near the middle field safety, made a heck of a play on the ball in the miscommunication. Um, we threw a sideline throw to Hayden. He just needs to either throw the ball away because it was extremely well covered, so that, that wasn't a miscommunication. We had the bootleg against Florida. We're really in that situation. We'd like to throw the ball away. It wasn't a miscommunication. You just need to take the ball in the right spot. Against Georgia, he got hit before half, and the ball fluttered in the air. We had a dig and go wide open, so that wasn't a miscommunication. Uh, and then we had a one-minute situation in the game against Georgia, and we're trying to make a play just like the Kentucky interception. And their guy made a play on the ball. So actually, we've had one miscommunication for the year. Danny, can you walk us through the, the interception throw and tell, tell us what the read was supposed to be? Well, we're reading it was either split safety or middle field coverage, and the route should have been broken off, and we should have taken the ball another place. Simple as that. With Shy, I don't think he played. Was that just a ankle injury that lingered? No, we went through the week and uh, it was an ankle, a little bit of a knee, and uh, we just didn't feel like he was going to be healthy enough to go. We pra he practiced a little bit and tried to run on it throughout the week. And game time decision, we pulled. Coach, you mentioned that Jake had a high ankle. Um, what was the reason Well, again, I, I think that we, you know, you know, really the one drive was disappointing defensively. We, you know, I, I, I felt like other than that, we had played them pretty decent. Um, I thought we had, you know, played well in space. They, you know, have had some really good guys in space, and I thought we had tackled well in space back to that point. Um, so I didn't, you know, I felt like we needed to make a play or two here and there. They're very aggressive. They create a lot of one on one matchups. I felt like we could win some one on ones down the field. We weren't able to do that. So. I mean, it was frustrating, but I thought our guys came out and competed. I mean, the first play of the second half was disappointing. There wasn't a lack of effort. We had a lack of tackling. We had four or five guys miss the guy. And give their guy credit. He made a play. So, uh, just, you know, those are things that, uh, you know, we need to handle the moment better, and we do. Yeah. Coach, you mentioned handling the moment. Uh, never again has been the mantra. Do you think there was almost too much of an emphasis put on this? Or? No. I mean, we, we competed in the game, and, and we just didn't. You know, the outcome wasn't what we wanted, obviously, and we need to play better. We need to coach better. That starts with me, nobody else. How how do you close the gap with these guys, and are you closer than maybe the final scores in the last two years have indicated? You know, I think that, you know, in any situation, and I've learned in this game for a long, long time, it's never as good as it seems, and it's never as bad as it seems. <coughs> and it's somewhere in between. And, you know, we need to continue to recruit. We're down about 10 scholarships right now because of the attrition we've taken over with. It is what it is. You don't hear me complaining about it. That's the situation we're in. We're going to continue to recruit and develop. We've had 12 seniors that did a fantastic job for this football team, and we'll continue to build the program the right way. What's the schedule for you guys as you hang out and wait to figure out where you're going to be going for the bowl game? We're going to recruit them all. As far as like players, though, what's their, are they going to be off, I guess, coming up the next couple of weeks? Or? They'll have a couple lists, and we've got exams coming up. It seemed like you guys came up with three linebackers a lot early. Was that just matching personnel or, or 
what did you sort of see something like that? Yeah. Well, we felt like we needed to get bigger on the perimeter. We were really hurt with some of the quick screens last year. We got hurt on some edges. We felt like we needed a bigger body in the game. And Sherrod's been a guy that really plays well in space and uh, can shed edges for us better than some of our DBs. Uh, Coach, it really seemed like big issues tonight were obviously on offense and then giving up big plays on defense and some penalties as well. Are there any positives you can take away from the game? Well, not really. I mean, when you lose like that to your arch rivals, it's not a lot of fun.